This video is gonna help you with screens seven, eight, and nine. Um, so it says, you and your best friend are trying to figure out how long you have before your savings run out and your bank account is zero. You're not earning any money, you're only spending it. You start with $400 and spend an average of $10 per week, and your best friend starts with $450 and spends about $12 per week. Write two equations, one for your bank account balance and one for your best friend's bank account balance. So let's focus on the one, your bank account first. So I need to figure out what my initial value is, which is my B, and I need to figure out what my rate or my slope is. And again, you can usually identify this by finding per unit of time. So if I, my problem is literally telling me I'm starting with $400, so that's my B value. And if I'm spending an average of $10 per week, I'm not earning that money, I'm spending it, so I have to make it negative because that's coming out of my bank account. Um, if it makes sense, you could also type this as y equals 400 minus 10x. It means the same thing, so you start with 400 and you spend $10 every week. So then you're gonna write the equation for your friend's um, bank account. You can pause this video if you need to. Uh, we're going to come back to, we're going to go to screen eight. It says, in each equation on the previous screen, what does X represent and what does Y represent? Similar to our first problem, X is going to tell me how many or how much over a period of time. And Y is going to tell me my total amount of money left in my bank account or how much money is there. So I need to figure out what happens over and over again why am I multiplying negative 10 times X? What does this X represent? And you'll type that in the box here. And you'll also type what Y represents. And then screen nine says to graph both equations in Desmos. So once you get your second equation here, you're gonna graph this one, graph this one, and then you'll move on to uh, screen 10.